Hey guys, what's going on? Shane at Shane Hubbard Fit. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the two most important questions to answer before you even get started losing weight. Stay tuned. All right guys, what's up? How you doing? I hope you're having a great day. Today we're gonna to be talking about the two most important questions you could possibly ask yourself before you even get started trying to lose weight. Number one, the very first thing you need to ask yourself is, how can I build consistency into what I'm doing? If there's a running program out there, guaranteed to help you lose body fat, and you're thinking, I gotta do this program, right? Why wouldn't I? I wanna lose body fat, I gotta do this running program. But you hate running, like you don't even just dislike it, like you, hurt, you hear somebody say the word run, and you wanna punch them in the face, all right? If that is you, please let me tell you first and foremost that you do not have to run to lose body fat, all right? The only thing that really matters when it comes to losing body fat is what's called a caloric deficit, which we'll go over in a different video. You wanna find something that you can do consistently, so more frequent than not. Let's say you don't hate running, but you really don't see yourself doing it multiple times a week. What do you think is better, running once a week and burning 500 calories, or walking for 20 minutes, four to five to six, maybe seven times a week, and burning maybe like 100 calories per walk? Probably less, but let's say that that's just a round number that we can use. You're gonna have way more results burning that 700 calories a week if you're you know, walking seven uh, times a week than you are running one time a week because number one, you actually enjoy it. Number two, you can do it multiple times a week and it's not that big a deal. It's easy on your knees, it's easy on your ankles, whatever. So consistency trumps everything else because no matter how good a workout program is, if you're not actually gonna do it and you're not gonna do it for the duration and the frequency that you need to do it for, fat loss isn't even a question of whether or not it's gonna, be, it's gonna work or not. It's not gonna work because you're not doing the program. So you have to understand this because if you don't build in consistency, and this goes to nutrition too, I'm just using exercise as an example. If you are starting a diet and you absolutely hate the foods that are in it or it doesn't allow you to eat foods that you enjoy more often, you're not gonna stick with it. This is the number one mistake I see with almost every single client that I work with is they choose these mainstream diets because they help people lose body fat, but they hate the food. And they're thinking the entire time, when this is over, I'll be able to eat what I want, I'll have lost all the fat. It's like, yeah, but guess what? You don't have to do that. Why do something you don't have to do, especially when it comes to, when it comes to doing something you don't want to do, which is like you know, all the process of losing body fat. We're conditioned to believe that there's specific things to help you lose body fat. And other than a caloric deficit, you can pretty much customize it however you want. So that's number one. Number two is something that I invented sort of. It's called the BER method, all right? It stands for benefit to enjoyment ratio, all right? Now this is a very important thing to keep in mind. You have to enjoy, it's kind of what I already talked about. You have to enjoy what you're doing, but you also have to have some benefit to that. And when it comes to things like exercise, just about anything, in today's world is gonna be a benefit. Moving in general, right? Don't look at walking as less effective than running simply because of the intensity, right? Again, like we talked about before, are you gonna be more consistent with something like walking or hiking than you are than, than running? Then do the thing that you're gonna be more consistent with, that's important. But you also have to enjoy it. You shouldn't be doing forms of exercise you don't enjoy. And I'm, again, I'm not saying you have to absolutely love it to the moon, but you have to enjoy it. You have to enjoy the way it makes you feel. You have to enjoy it enough to want to do it multiple times a week because that's where you're gonna start seeing results. So don't pick running or don't pick you know, uh, doing sprints if one, you don't have the ability, the skill, or, or, or the, you know, the functionality to do it. But two, if you hate doing it, then find something you actually like to do instead. And that could be like, maybe you hate running, but you enjoy playing basketball. There's a ton of running in basketball. Yeah, it's, you know, for a certain amount of distance and that's as far as you can go, but do that multiple times in a game, you're burning tons of calories. So it's important to understand that just because like a celebrity did this workout or just because this person that you know did this workout in this specific way doesn't mean that you have to do it that same way, right? That workout or that nutrition plan did exactly what it should have to help them lose body fat, which is create a caloric deficit. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that there aren't other ways to do that. There is, there's a, a gazillion different types of ways to do it. Open your mind to the possibility of picking a form of exercise you actually like to, to do. And if you absolutely hate every form of exercise I've either listed right now or anything that you can think of, then maybe start off really, really small by just doing things like walks, all right? You might not love to walk, but you can find ways to make it a little bit more enjoyable. Listen to music, listen to podcasts, whatever it takes. Um, and this goes for nutrition as well, right? Don't do a diet that you hate. 
If you hate all the foods on the keto diet, but you're doing it simply to lose body fat, forget it. Don't worry about that. Right? That's, that's not a, an effective way of going about it. Okay, so that's the two most important questions you need to ask yourself. I'm gonna give you guys a third sort of bonus mindset tip that I want you to understand and think about. I want you to start thinking in terms of dropping your ego. And the best way to do this is to realize that just because somebody else had success with something, doesn't mean that you have to do it the exact same way to be effective, all right? This also applies to things like exercise. If you think that this type exercise or that person is awesome, right, and you wanna be like them, but you don't have the ability to do that just yet, take a step back, break down that habit or break down that exercise, whatever it is, and work up to that, all right? You have to understand that we have to take our egos out of this equation because if we're doing things that are above our skill level that could hurt us or that could uh, jeopardize the first important question which is consistency then we're not going to see results at the end of the tunnel and you're certainly not going to have fat loss as a permanent part of your life anyway guys thanks a ton for watching today's video if you enjoyed today's video and this gave you some insight that's going to help you lose body fat and you're going to actually adopt it I want you to not only like this video, but leave me a comment down below saying, hey, thanks for the video, I really do appreciate it. And then as always guys, if you want to subscribe, if you want more videos that are insightful like this that help you understand more about burning body fat, about getting in the best shape of your life, about transforming your life for the better, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also make sure you hit the bell because when you hit the bell, it sends you a message that says, hey, Shane put out a new video, that way you can watch it as soon as you would like or that you're available. All right, guys, thanks for watching today's video. I will see you in a future video.